Sugar is the love of my life. Dear Lord, isn't it? I tell you. I tell a you freaky now. eater is someone who takes an eating habit to the extreme. Yo, a freak eater is someone who takes eating to the extreme, bro. Typical American fashion, by the way. Christine is addicted to sugar. Sugar is the love of my life. Candy bars, jelly beans, ah. cakes. Ah! She can't go a single hour without a sugar fix. My cupboard cannot be empty. Her son Kevin fair, is though. sick with worry. If things don't change, I can see getting a phone call in the middle of the night from a hospital in California. With one week of intense. What do you mean? Huh? Wait. A phone call? Like what? I'm sorry to say that your... Your mother's just, uh, just really sexy. It's therapy. Can experts Mike Dow and JJ Virgin help? I love how fake these two look, though. Fucking action man and, uh... Old MILF coming over to tell you it's not eating, by the way. Christine Stop eating. To let go of the that addiction is not just affecting you. You can't just take it away. You can't. Before it destroys her future. The stakes are high. We are talking. Yo, the stakes are high, doll. Talking about Christine's health, Bobby happiness, again. and really her life. Le casque, baby. Bazinga. Bazinga! I eat sweet things every day. I love watching the whole thing. I eat in, first thing in the morning. I eat while I'm driving. Five so? bags of jelly beans. She has the mentality of a five-year-old when she goes grocery oh. shopping. Nice thing to say about your own mother, man. My mother has the intelligence of a five-year-old, bro. It's just junk food and sugar. This is what I'd buy, and this would only last me a week. That's pretty bad, though, to be honest. A week. Yeah, probably. Christine grew up on a farm in rural Nebraska. Yeah! As one of eight children, but she never enjoyed any of the fresh foods the farm had to offer. Oh my I god! I like the the candy and the the ho hos and the Twinkies. They made okay, I don't really care about your your backstory. Let's get in it then. And it is a lot of isolation. This 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 man doesn't look real, dude. He just he literally looks like a like a weird action figure. <laughs> Stakes are high. We are talking about Christine's health. We're talking about Christine's health, dude. Oh my god. Happiness and really her life. All right. Well, All right. AI here. generated bloke. I'm nervous. My mom's really stubborn and stuff. My mama just can't stop eating chocolate bars. Checking her ways, and it's going to be hard for JJ Crazy. not to get out of crap. Right, not moving trouble. What's up, bro? What's that she's eating, though? Is that the normal meal, though? For the. Uh, Those like. Jelly worms, they are pure sugar and muck. Past 20 years, Christine has been held hostage. Dead! Bro, that is pretty weird. Stitch by her just, just, just eating whipped cream in a bowl. Addiction to sugar. Over the next week, freaking awesome other specialists awesome will attempt to help her break free. Dear God. Christine has no Tomorrow. idea that Kevin, JJ, and I are about to enter. Why does it look like his hair is like glued onto his head? Turn her life and help her. I don't care, bro. It's been a while, huh? What are you doing here? Can we come in? Oh, yeah, come why on. Is this, in. Why is this pixelated man in my doorway? Why is this guy from uh, Tekken in my door? When I saw Kevin on my doorstep, I was shocked to see him and then <laughs> seeing people next to him. And I should stop there for a couple of seconds. Pe people. CGI man at my door. So I thought, well, here he, he's bringing his friends again. His friends! The, the fucking 59 year old woman and the fucking AI man, yeah. My best mates. Why the surprise? Up, I just Fish would like to, bloke. to talk to you with these guys. Wait, she's fucking tall as well. She's like seven foot tall. And, and see if we can't get your help. Yo, mom, can you just stop fucking eating whipped cream and chocolate bars? You fucking idiot. You got Prada Willis syndrome or something? Oh my god, mommy, just stop! Situation taken care of because I... The situation that you just wouldn't stop eating chocolate. Been away from you for so long and I want to make sure things are good with you. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, Sushi. Mommy's Mom, these are my friends from online. <laughs> this is my mate. God damn, bro. What the, the guy doesn't look real. He doesn't look like he's been CGI'd in, though. Healthy. <laughs> Why is she... <laughs> I love you. I know you do. Just I'm JJ Virgin. Them. I'm a nutrition specialist. Uh, dude, she's like giant competitor. What the fuck? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs>
nutrition specialist. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that, uh, you know, eating shit probably isn't very good for you guys. That I could use. I am Dr. Mike Thomas. <laughs> hey, um, I'm, uh, I'm the dude from the Final Fantasy CGI movie. Yeah, bro. Psychotherapist. My first thought was I was excited and She's then it went CGI, to embarrassment. Man. How long is this? She's rubbing his leg. What's been going on? What the fuck? Probably since I lost my kids. Wait, kitten? So, like, 20 years. Huh? Do you feel powerless over Sugar Christine? <sighs> you have no power here. I know Sugar has controlled me. That's why I don't I don't want you to take it away. You can't just Sugar's a little bit of a, a bit of a power play here. Hmm? Yes. You can't just take it away. That's you can't. Why. Christine has created yes. this perfect storm of addiction. So not only does yes. she self-medicate feelings of sadness yes. or loneliness, she actually needs sugar yes. to feel normal. We've got some things we need to show you. Okay, come on. I'm ready. Come with us. Yes. A little bit of a... Uh, what the dog doing? A little bit of a what the dog doing, guys. I was gonna thank you, bro. I was gonna say, um, what's that book called again? What's that book that women really like, and it's like a sexual book? <laughs> I, I don't forget what it's called. I was trying to think of what it's. Yeah, Fifty Shades. Yeah, chocolate bar controls my life. I put the whip in the chocolate bar's hands and just like. Fifty Shades of Brit Bar. Fifty Shades of Chocolate, bro. <laughs> With Christine trapped. Bro! In down Whoa, dude! You'd be fucking word spiral of addiction. No! Dr. Dow and JJ want to show her where her current path is headed. What the dog doing? Up a hill? The whole point of the ah, shock ah! therapy is for her to make that shock th JJ Virgin! That can't be a real person's name, bro. Get out of here, bro. This is a troll, isn't it? In connection. That what she's putting into her mouth it's like RJ farts or something, dude, or, I don't know, I Free Willis. It's gonna put her into the grave. I Free Willy. Oh my god. That's a weird looking grave. That's a weird looking grave with sandbags. I'm guessing there's sugar in there, right? It was a grave made out of... Bro, they, they threatened me, bro? Sugar. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> How would you figure that out? Like, sacks. But like, why is it sacks? All the sugar I'm not ready for this. 750 pounds. It's the amount of sugar I know, you that you eat in a year. And we have more to show Proof? you. Proof? Good not the pretentious twat. I've seen bad eating habits. Mmm, mmm. Yummy. Wow, I win a prize for being uh, greedy as fuck. Thank you so much. Habits over the years, but <laughs> I've cool never saucy. seen sugar intake like this. Do I get to take this home? <laughs> I told you she'd have that reaction. Do you know what that sugar uh. does to you? Eating. What's that? Listen, stop eating sugar. Or we'll Increases your you. risk of every major disease: heart disease, Proof? osteoporosis, Proof? diabetes. Eventually, we're all gonna die. <laughs> That's the cope. That's the smoker cope as well. Um, smoking about 50 packs a day, you know, psst, we're all gonna fucking die one day. Beep, beep. I just don't want to know. Christine, you're using a lot of avoidance because you don't really want to come to terms with what this truly means. Listen, listen, action man, the greatest hero of them all. Just chill out, okay? I wanna, if I want to eat fucking 50,000 chocolate bars a day, I could do it. Shut up. For you and your life. Nothing does. I'm a nihilist, bro. There's nothing you fucking matters, bro. So when the grandchild comes over, what do you feed him? What does that's this what? signify? Don't know. A good meal. Why is this love? Well, that's what they like. Kids like sugar. <laughs> oh my god, that is fucking Why do you insane, ask your son man. What his favorite memory of you and your relationship was? Was it sugar cookies? That's not why I got excited. <laughs> Yo, mom. Ah, oh, fucking stop, bro. To see you. It was spending time with you that brought me to visit you. Addiction is not just affecting you, it's affecting your son. And we've asked him to write right. to the Christine that is going down this path. Why would you write to her? You could just tell it to her face. What a coward. You, you can't say it to her face. 
Stop hiding behind your fucking litter, you coward! Christine loves her son so much. If she realizes that she is also hurting him, maybe that will be the thing that is going to give her enough strength to do whatever it is. It's funny because when you tell a smoker that uh, you know you really hate it and you're worried about them dying from smoking, they don't give a shit. So why would it? Why would she give a shit about you know not eating fifty four thousand chocolate bars a day? It takes to treat this addiction. Pushes up glasses. Kevin, by the would way. you mind reading that for us? Kevin, yeah, no right. <laughs> Mummy, I'm really sick of you eating all the cookies. Mom, you and I went through a lot of life's challenges together. Yeah. You lived every day of your short time on Earth to the fullest and never regretted anything. Who? That being said, you were extremely careless and selfish with how you took care of your health. You continued to binge and indulge in a sugar addiction, even when you knew it could kill you. Um, bit, bit harsh, isn't it, bro? You're a fucking bitch, mom. Just stop fucking eating chocolate. Fuck you. That decision ultimately left me without a mom. What? I love you so much, mom. Forever and always. Is he indicating she's gonna be dead soon? Oh my god, what a weird letter, bro. Your only son, Kevin. <laughs> when Kevin read Pimp. those words, Pimp. that's when Hello, he man. was ready to make the change. <laughs> you ready to take that journey? Bit rude, isn't it? I tell you. It's right into his. Well, she's still alive, so. Bit, bit weird chat, shit chat at her, bro. All right, solid bloke. Oh, thank you, man. I when will you do. When you get a chance, check DMF. Very I'll do relevant. Now. I'll look now, mate. Give me a sec. Ah! <laughs> Dude, he's literally him. <gasps> Let me save that image. Hold on. That is actually crazy, dude. It looks just like him. Look at this, guys. Well, when he comes, when he comes up, I'll bring it up. Let's get rid of it. Goodbye. Get rid of it. Of course. Let me go back. Hold on. Let's get rid of it. Goodbye. Get rid of it. Goodbye. So, <laughs> my God, it it really is scary. Cause it looks just like it, man. It looks more like on the far left, I guess. Like, literally the same haircut. The same shirt. I told you he was CGI generated, bro. He's literally just been generated in front of our eyes right now, man. Anyway. I know it's not going to be easy. Listen, because consume. in order for something to work, it has to be a little bit of a struggle. That's when you really... Anyway. Boring. Hurry up. Start spending time with your son. All of that other stuff, Christine, all of the past. You fucking bitch. How fucking dare you eat this chocolate? How dare you indulge in your selfish desires to be, you know, comfy and eating some tasty choco. Fuck you. If there's something that you cannot control in your life. It looks like he's had Botox as well, to be honest. So you're looking for a beautiful woman with a busty body. We need to move you to a state of acceptance because you can't do anything about feelings of the past. The trick Bro, to shut up, happiness dude. is to not make any room for them. I want you to... F I've never known anyone normal to be walking around with a tucked in shirt with a belt. It's a bit odd. Fill your life Isn't with it? pleasure and purpose and power. Dr. Dowd helped the me realize power. that I the was... Power. The power! The power! ...person holding myself back. I have no one to blame with this how I live my life except for me. Grinch. I'm gonna think differently now. Cool. Inspiring words from a knob. What? Are they, what? What's going on? <laughs> Taking her out to sea. Gonna be sleeping with the fishes, bruh. The next morning, Dr. Dow wants to work with both Christine and Kevin to <laughs> show them how to create a happy memory that doesn't involve- He wears the same shirt every fucking day like Homer Simpson, baby. ...of sugar. This looks fun. <laughs> I have never no. in my entire life been in anything like this. No, it doesn't it look fun. It kind of small and unsteady. Uh-huh. The next yeah. part of Christine's treatment will be to extend- Taking her out and, uh, making her swim back to shore? Like, I don't get it. ...wish her fear of the unknown. This is important in treating her- Bro, I don't care. Hurry up. Get out to sea, babe. You sure you can do that? Yeah. You sure? I just give those like fucking. Yeah, why don't you get in? Why is he wearing that shirt? 
at the beach. It's very odd. I'll pull it out. Not like a, wouldn't you like to wear a normal t-shirt and shorts? <laughs> it's like really weird. <laughs> Makes it look important. When I first got in that kayak, I thought, we're doomed. Then I programmed my mind that I have to trust and a I have to create a moment. Mind. Unfortunately, a riptide pulled them out to sea and they were never seen again. The end. <laughs> Woo! It was so amazing. When we were out there and things were real smooth, I'm like, Why is this that is so, much so fun. fun, bro? Good work, Christine. I totally let all my fears go and I. This is the scripted shit, man. I tell you what, if you feel good from watching this, you have. Negative IQ. This is the stuff of replace. Whoa, bro, you literally just changed my life! You went out to the sea for a swim. So fucking fun, man. Food with meaningful. Oh, you got me wet. That's really helped me out, guys. Relationships and experiences in your life. This memory did not involve me having to wake up thinking we have to bake cookies. Oh my you know, god! This is something Kevin was excited about doing, and I got to do it first with my son. This is got to do it with my son. Oh, it's we did it! What? Dude, I can't have it. It's fucking. Most wait, she's cured from that. What a scripted pile of shit, bro. Food to me is pretty blah. And now she's eating normal food because she went out to sea. Fuck off. I'm gonna put them in my body, even though they do nothing for me, and I'm going to remind myself nice, how it's going to give me that energy to. She looks really happy to be in like bland shite. Uh, let's have a look. Give me a sec. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! That is epic. Hold on. <laughs> Holy shit, bro! <laughs> my god today today you will be going out to sea and then you will be cured or else <laughs> or else thanks man oh my god dude okay back to my life as i love sugar so much all the way down to the water i love sugar by the way a sushi made that by the way over the next few days, the NFT's Christina little attempts Marcus. to step outside her comfort zone. Oh, no. But when she chooses to go out, it's alone. <laughs> she walks to the sea and just like keeps walking. What movie was it where a guy just like walked into the sea and then just like died? Is like the end. It's extremely tough, tough for me to it. be social. It's not easy to put yourself out there. Oh, I need to piss so bad, bro. See all this water making me want to piss. On the fourth day, the loneliness gets to be too much. Oh no! Dear Miss Lonely Hearts, I had to write this letter to tell you how I treat you better. Oh! Wait, why is the cameraman watching her eat chocolate? What the fuck? Voyeurism. And Christine gives in. She's just Howard Hughes, but instead of being OCD, she just must have a chocky bar. you could do is like just show like slides you know in um a clockwork orange where he's tied to a chair and his eyes are peeled back and uh you know they start flashing images in front of his face they should just flash images of like people eating shit and then say do you want the chocolate bar <laughs> yeah flat flash images flash images of people eating shit and they go would you like the chocolate bar and then like flash it with like pictures of people eating chocolate bars that back and forth what did that frame was? Moments. I was gonna get that scene up. No, no. The weakness. I fell into my old routine of grabbing that candy. Ha, I don't even care I'm alive, bro. Fuck my son. I know that taking two steps forward, sometimes you do take. Gonna be that strong. Taking two steps forward and five steps back, cause I wanna get diabetes. A step back. <laughs> you know that's with anything in life. Um, no. But when you do take that step back, I'm going to be more aware of and, and ask myself, okay, more why'd you bollocks, do this? More coat. What triggered it? I don't know. Laziness? Greed? Realizing that loneliness is a key trigger for Christine, on day seven, 
Dr. Dow and JJ ask her to join them for She's dinner kind of pretty, to encourage guys. her to get out and be more social. Yeah, you look fantastic. Thank you. Come have a seat over here. I don't think she's done a track to Tonight is the culmination of all of the things that she was terrified to I'm do. I'm surprised before. she's not overweight with all the chocolate she's eating. That's what I'm saying. Or trying new foods, being oh, around sure. people. Oh. It's having that experience that will <clears throat> teach Christine again she can do this. Oh my gosh! Kevin! Wait, I thought she was on a speed date. Why is, she, why is her son here? Oh to up God. the ante even more. JJ and Dr. Dow have invited Kevin back from Texas and a few of Christine's acquaintances from work. Wait, what? What's going on here, dude? I thought it was a speed date. It's like Ryan and Bill just showing up. Oh, you look lovely. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is going to be good. This what? is a Spanish restaurant. We're going to have top. Oh, it's not a speed date. Oh. Why is it empty in there? It must be a shit restaurant, man. What I want you to do is I want you to try things that are really a challenge for you. I'm so glad you decided to join me for dinner. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, okay. I know, hey, it's weird, I want you right? To things and go, what is the thing that almost scares me? Are okay. you game? Yeah. Okay. Oh, That's all of us. You, going? you know what scares me is a plastic face. I'll be right back very quick, guys. I need to piss really bad. Sorry. Two seconds. Very quick. What? Oh, Lech, spy a bit of that fucking David Beckham on you. You'll get all the fucking pushy, bro. You'll get all the fucking pushy, Lech. What did I get myself into? <laughs> <laughs> what is the point of this? Extremely foreign. Date stuff with blue cheese. I Ooh, it's got bits in it, bro. I don't like blue cheese. It's like more. I don't like cheese. I don't like cheese. Old. That's the point, dude. Right. I'm gonna try. That's okay. the point. Blue Let's cheese is moldy. And that even scares me a little bit. Oh How my about God. that one? Oh, what does it say? This oh octopus. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's try it. Sounds, it. sounds like shit, mate. All right. The pressure is really on for Christine tonight. We're taking her far out of her comfort. Oh, just shut up. Just shut up. You look like you smell shit. I'm skipping ahead, it's boring. I didn't like any of the This is cute, this is cute, I'm eating some food, guys. It was so gratifying to see Christine enjoying herself at the dinner table. It made me realize that she's taken that whole idea. God, her teeth are so like glow in the dark. It's just like annoying. I don't know, man. Wait. In the past month, Christine has cut sugar completely from her life. She has joined a 12-step program. So, fucking hell, mate. 12-step program. They'll not eat a fucking chocolate bar. Come on, man. It's not like you're drinking alcohol or some, like, you know, like drugs. <laughs> Illegal substances. I need to join a 12-step program. They'll not eat a chocolate bar. Very, um, first world problems here, guys. I know, right? 12-step program. Fucking bullshit. What is this crap, man?